Hello YouTube people, today I'm gonna show you this amazing watch, Adidas Dive Deep Sea Hunter. And this is gonna be one of those extra positive reviews because I really like this watch. And no matter how I look at this watch, from which perspective, from technical perspective, emotional, I mean, I only see positive things about this watch. And it only has one negative thing, it doesn't have any originality. It's just like a straight up copy of a Seiko Tuna, uh, so called a homage watch. <laughs> but you know, what you're gonna do? So, with that out of the way, I see only positive things about the watch. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you this watch up close. I also show you how it looks on a person from the distance. And you can also buy this watch with this bracelet or this bracelet. You can also put this watch on this silicone strap, of course, so I will show you how they look like and how do they feel like, what is the quality, etc, etc. And I also want to compare it to Steel Dive Marine Master, which I had last year and I also did a review on that Steel Dive, the link in the description. Also, speaking about reviews, I'm currently wearing this G-Shock GBD100. If you want to see the review of this watch, also link in the description. So, most importantly, the comparison to Steel Dive. I mean, even the name sounds the same. Steel Dive, Adidas Dive, it's still some kind of a dive. <laughs> so, it does look like exactly the same watch, basically. But I, I think I found the difference between those two. I can't be 100% sure because I no longer have Steel Dive, so I can't do one-to-one -one comparison. But... You see, previously, uh, last year, I did photo shoot with that Steel Dive Marine Master. And I really struggled to get a really nice clean shot of the dial itself without that blue haze on the top. I mean, any lighting situation, any angle, I was just getting that annoying blue haze on top. So today I did photo shoot on this Adidas Dive with the same camera, same location, same everything, you know. And I had no problem getting nice pictures of this watch with clean dial without that blue haze on top. I don't know. I, I, I can't really, you know, tell you 100% because I no longer have the steel dive. But from my experience, this anti-reflective coating seems to be a lot better than on steel dive. Everything else is basically the same. My opinion is also the same, which means that I still, I, I love this watch. This is amazing watch. You know, so I'm gonna split this review into two parts, technical part and kind of emotional part. <laughs> so, speak, technically speaking, I got this watch for under 100 euros, which is incredible in my opinion. I always say, getting this uh, Seiko NH35A movement, in no matter what kind of a watch, if you get a watch with that movement for under 100 euros, you got yourself a good deal. And on top of that, with this watch, you get a 300 meters of water resistance. This beautiful domed sapphire crystal with anti-reflective blue coating. This uh, bezel has also a ceramic insert. And overall, the case finishing, everything, it just looks so nice. I can't find any negatives. I mean, everything is just nice. It's just nice. Even the bezel action, which is very rare to find a watch for under 100 euros which will have nice bezel action this one does have a nice bezel action it even sounds very nice there is almost no back play alignment is almost perfect <laughs> i mean i'm very happy how it is moving on there is this very beautiful black glossy dial I, I love black glossy dials you know that it's just so nice it makes the watch alive it's just it's at some at, at some angles that dial just pops out and that glossiness does help a lot i would say everything on the dial i like the print i like this adidas dive logo which is very kind of small very sharp you see adidas dive logo name deep sea hunter automatic 300 meters it's not just some cheap looking white print on the dial. It is some kind of a silver, a little bit grayish color. And it, it does look really good. It does, doesn't look cheap. 
and the crown. The crown looks really impressive. I like that engraving on the crown. It's like a, some kind of a jewelry. It's so sharp. It's so like tiny and detailed. It does look impressive in person. It catches light and shines in certain angles. It's wonderful. Also, the crown, technically speaking, feels wonderful, catches the threading very nicely. And this is the third Adidas dive watch I have. And this is the third time I'm very pleasantly surprised with the loom. I mean, this is that type of a loom which catches me by surprise multiple times throughout the day. It is a rather long lasting loom as well. If I use this as my night watch, you know, I put it behind my pillow and I just wake up in the middle of the night, take the watch to see the time. I have no problems telling the time in the middle of the night. Big strong plus point. For under 100 euros to get this kind of a loom, I mean, this is, this is great. So the last technical thing about the watch itself, which I would like to mention, is the lug to lug distance is 44.5 millimeters, which makes this watch feel very comfortable on the hand even though it's big bulky heavy watch it still feels great on my 16.5 centimeter wrist so that's all the technical points i, I wanted to mention about the watch itself uh we will we'll be i will be back uh, speaking about this watch from emotional standpoint later on but now there is another technical thing which i would like to mention is that you can choose this watch on this bracelet or this bracelet Technically, they are the same. Uh, there is only the difference in the design, which is completely down to a personal preference. What I can say is that this watch looks great on both of them. They have thickness, they have presence, they have weight, and they fit the theme of this watch very well, both of them. But technically speaking, both of them have two negative things. Uh, the inside links are a little bit sharp, and clasps feel a little bit cheap and nasty but the outside of these bracelets on both of them are well finished they don't have sharp edges on outside which makes them feel comfortable on the wrist even though the inside links are a little bit sharp but that doesn't really matter too much and then they themselves when i cover the clasp that's how they sound they sound good. This is how good bracelet sounds. It doesn't jingle jangle, you know. But when I uncover the clasp, it sounds like this. <laughs> if you want to wear on these bracelets, I do advise you to look for some kind of a good quality, full solid milled clasps. Because these, these just kill, kill all the fun for me. And I wear this watch on silicone strap anyway. I do recommend this silicone strap a lot, 20 millimeters and 22 millimeters as it is on this watch, because this silicone strap is thick, but it has holes, so it's very breathable throughout the summer. Also, I don't need to tighten up this watch too much on my wrist to keep it stable throughout the day, because the silicone strap is itself, it's very grippy, it just stays in place without tightening it too much. So this silicone strap, it just feels wonderful. I do recommend, if you buy this watch, buy this 22 millimeter strap for, for this watch. Avoid uh, silicone straps without holes. I mean, 22 millimeter strap without holes, it's gonna be sweaty, nasty, hot. It must have some kind of holes. <laughs> and some of 22 millimeter silicone straps without holes are very stiff. They, they just feel horrible on the hand. This one, because it has these holes, it is very flexible. It feels just wonderful on the hand. That's all the technical things that I wanted to mention. Now let's move on towards fun part. <laughs> so from technical standpoint, this watch just shines. It's just for the price. It is amazing watch, wonderful watch. But also from emotional standpoint, it also shines like, wow, <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, I see watches as some kind of a toys. Come on, it's not an essential item to have really. It's just something that's supposed to make you happy. I could, you know, compare this watch to, to, some, to some kind of a, uh, you know, sporty car or a motorbike that you just 
take on Sunday rides. Just, you know, it sits in the garage, it waits for that sunny, nice day, and just uncover it and take it for a ride only on nice Sundays when it's not raining, etc. This is that kind of a toy, I would say, even though it's, you know, for this kind of comparison, it's rather cheap toy, but I mean, that just makes it even better <laughs> because it does feel that kind of a special. It's not an everyday watch. I mean, you, who wants to lug around this amount of uh, metal on your hand, you know, throughout the day, every day? It's too shouty, too loud for every day. It's great conversation piece. You know, I actually tried that on my family <laughs> as a conversation piece. You know, does it work? I put this watch on my hand. There was, uh, I don't really remember, a birthday of some kind of something, you know, family gathering. And I was with this watch. And I told nothing to anyone about this watch. I was just sitting with this watch. And people, <laughs> well, people, my family were just looking at this watch like, wow, interesting watch, can I see it? And I, you know, and I passed this watch around. Everybody took a good look at this watch and everybody's like, wow, it's so weird, it looks so interesting. And everybody had some kind of opinion about this watch. It's not some kind of a watch like uh, someone would look at it and would be like, eh, yeah, yeah, whatever, fine. Everybody is left impressed with this watch in one way or another. You know, some people have negative opinion. Oh, it's like, why, why it's so bulky? It's like, it's ugly. Some people look at it and it's like, wow, it's impressive. It's like crazy. It's like, it looks like some kind of a vintage diving device. That's what my wife said. Uh, it looks like some kind of a vintage diving device. And I mean, that's right on point. That's exactly what it is. And that's just wonderful. I love that aspect of the watch that it just engages people. It just, you see, sometimes you could feel a little bit disappointed. You put some kind of a watch on your wrist, which in your opinion is nice watch. Maybe it is nice watch. Maybe it is interesting watch in a watch community. In, in between the people who like watches but you sit uh, together with your family where nobody cares about watches and you're like kind of a little bit disappointed sometimes you kind of want to you know have fun you like look at this it's wonderful don't you want to see that up close to touch it you know enjoy it and like that engagement uh, kind of and people sometimes are just I, I just don't care it's just like it's some watches are kind of boring for non-watch people no, not this one, <laughs> not this one. <laughs> it's like you don't even need to show it off or like suggest you do want to check this watch out. <laughs> this is crazy. No, <laughs> you just put it on and sit together with your family and people like, oh, <laughs> they want to see it. And I just love that fact about this watch. And it does provoke my inner child, this, this, this watch. You see, I love photography and uh, and this is that kind of a thing that I love taking pictures of. I don't even need to try hard. I don't even need to get a beautiful angle or a light. It just looks interesting at any angle with any light. This is that kind of a thing. It's like some kind of a very beautiful flower. I mean, I, I, I just love things like this one. I mean, that's all it's supposed to do. It's supposed to provoke some kind of a, a positive emotions. And it, it surely does this watch. I mean, where it goes in my website, Thomas Watch Reviews. This is homage watch. And I just can't put homage watches into God tier. It goes one tier down. It goes into keepers. It's extremely strong. Very, very good keeper. Very high recommendation. Thank you guys for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.